Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Wanted to give everybody an update on my experience, my journey with my very first Apple product, my very first iPhone, the iPhone 8 Plus. Now I'm trying to get comfortable here, so hopefully I don't do a bumpy cam here. Um, this is my second device. I had to return the first one on the 10th of October due to the fact that the camera on the back, cameras, completely died I woke up got ready for work um, turned on my device to look at my feedback as I was getting my lunch ready and, and I went into the camera and notice and the reason I went in there before I get going was to change it from 1080p 30 frames per second to 720p I was gonna shoot 720p video because the day before that and the day before that I shot in 1080p 30 frames per second 1080p 60 frames per second and the feedback I was getting was that the video quality was not good. There was a lot of shakiness going on, a lot of wobbliness and jello effect. And it just didn't look right. So I thought I would do 720p that morning and, um, and see if that made a difference. And I actually had done two factory resets. One, to see if that would change up anything. And I checked all the settings. Two, because downloading apps from the store maybe something was there that was not um, allowing the camera to work the way it should um, I, I don't know I was doing everything that I could possibly do just to make sure that I could see if I could get the the, the video shooter to produce better uh, video the quality that the quality would be better than it had been but that morning the 10th of October uh, I noticed as I was getting my lunch ready that the camera um, when I went into it was just a black screen all the way across. Now you could see these options over here and over to the left. All that was there, but it was a black screen. But when I switched it to the front, well, that, that worked just fine, just like you're seeing right there. But when I went back, nothing. Now I touched all the options, but when I touched portrait, it completely went out of the camera and went back to my home screen. And I was just like, you've gotta be joking, man. Wow. Okay. I'm a, I'm an Android user all my life and, um, just checking out this platform, you know, I checking out this device and I've been having fun with it, but was I going to let that discourage me? And I started another reset because I wanted to try to bring the camera back, finished it at work and it did nothing called T-Mobile. And, um, later on that day, uh, while I was at work, I actually sent a text message to the rep there who sold me this device, called them as well. Um, anyway, they told me to come down. They had some in stock. They would exchange it. No big deal. I made a video on the way to that store, that T-Mobile store, and uploaded that. Some of you have watched it and some of you probably haven't. You can go check it out if you want. Um, but they made the exchange very easy, very simple. They checked out the device, they exchanged it, and here it is. Here's the second one. Um, and like I was saying, I was, I had been having a lot of fun with this device, learning, um, how to use my iPhone. And, um, that wasn't going to discourage me because I know that anything like that can happen, whether it's an Apple product or whether it's an Apple device. It could have been the, the Axon, the ZT Axon 7. It could have been my Motorola Nexus 6. It could have been my HTC U11. Okay, I mean, it happens to any smartphone. Okay, things things happen. But I, wa I wasn't going to blame it on this device because it, it's an iPhone. Um, that that would have just been silly of me. And it, and I wasn't going to stop my journey and in, in, into diving into this device um, because I had had a lot of fun. It was just a dud. And um, I'm hoping that doesn't happen to this device, but it is what it is. Um, but let me go over some areas on on what I like and what I don't like so far um, since bringing in 
the iPhone 8 Plus. And this would include the first one, um, even though I don't have that one anymore. And I don't have any screenshots that I had of the battery life, but I will tell you this, the average is about five and a half. Five and a half hours for me, because I'm a heavy user. I'm not only using this device in making calls and, and, and sending messages, getting messages, um, I, you know, the normal things you do on a phone. Um, but I'm doing a lot of, uh, 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 answering feedback, watching a lot of videos, listening to music. Um, I'm shooting a lot of video. I was shooting a lot of video on the other device um, and um, creating content, uploading it through. Uh, in fact, those vlogs were delivered. Um, those early morning vlogs that you watched were actually delivered right through uh, the iPhone 8 Plus. So um, I was, you know, just really pushing this device to work for me during the reviewing process so I could see what kind of battery life I was going to get. And, um, and five and a half hours was, was what I, I was getting, um, with everything that I had been doing on it. And that's good for me because I'm a very heavy user. I, I'm not, um, any of you. So I, I mean, what you all do out there with your devices and, and what kind of battery life you get, obviously it's going to be much different than what I get. But, um, for what I was doing, um, I was pretty stoked with that kind of battery life. And if I need to, I'll plug in um, towards the end of the day. If I need a little more juice, I'll plug in. I don't mind doing that at all. Okay. Um, so, um, it, but I haven't had to do that. So really digging my battery life on this for me and um, digging the fact that I, I get I get really good uh, or great connectivity with T-Mobile here where I live. So no issues with phone calls and, and messaging performance is just just phenomenal just phenomenal the a11 bionic chip man in here is just i mean it is fast it is feathery smooth it is, and i understand why the average consumer really digs their experience on these devices because they're flawless when it comes to performance they really are and and as simple as these devices are to get in and use and you don't have a lot of freedom like you do with Android. It's, it is it is what it is, and you work with what you got, and you utilize it. But it's in the performance that makes it enjoyable because it is flawless. All right, so I want to go into a few areas I really like and then a couple areas I don't like. And I'll try not to let this go on too long because this is basically an update. And I, this video is already going on a little bit longer than I expected that it would. Now, uh, remember, this is my experience, my first time with this platform iOS, and some of this to a lot of you is going to be old hat. Okay, you're already going to know that, and you're going to be going, well, yeah, well, okay, I already knew that. Tell me something new. I'm not, I, it's all new to me. Now, I know some of the experience on this device so far reminds me a little bit of Android. If I swipe over to the right, I've seen this before, um, so it's not new, but the setup is different, okay? These widgets that you swipe over the right, you go into this page here, and you're going to get a lot of widgets. So I, I like the way this is set up in here, um, and you can actually edit it from here as well. If you go all the way down the bottom, um, you can leave the widgets that you have there, or you can add the widgets, or you can eliminate by tapping on that little red dot right there, that little icon, um, but you can add. And I, I may change this up. We'll see. But I like I like what's over there. It's a very quick and easy access to some of the widgets that I'm going to either leave or want to add and eliminate some. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I like that setup. If you pull down from the top, you're going to get notifications here. That'll be an area where you can open, you can view, or you can um, close. Um, you know, eliminate it, close it out. And also, if you have a whole list of them, it'll have a little icon to the right with a little X in it that you can tap really quick and it'll clear um, some of those notifications. If you press and hold uh, a little bit longer, it'll say clear all to eliminate all of them. They come in in groups. So if you have an iPhone, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but I like that. Uh, you got your touch ID to get into your device, uh, to my device. And if you go up, you get your other widgets here, use 3D touch. You can go in and check out the widgets that are there that I can use to turn on my AirDrop um, hotspot. And you got Bluetooth, 
Uh, you can shut off your Wi-Fi here, your cellular data. You can turn on app, uh, airplane mode, your personal hotspot. So yeah, you got all that. And then you can actually um, turn up the display. Long press, there's your 3D touch. Like that. Eliminate that. If you go into flashlight, you can long press all that. And you got different levels. I like that. Okay, so 3D Touch working really nice here. Um, I, this is really the only area that I've really used 3D Touch. I, I really like to simplify my experience on any device, whether it's Android or whether it's iOS, you know, whether it's any of my devices here or my iPhone 8 Plus. I, I like a simplistic experience and the iPhone 8 Plus is already a simplistic experience. I'm already discovering that. Some of this I've made a little bit harder on myself because I'm thinking it's it's it's, it's got to be a little bit harder than that, and it really isn't. It, that that's my mental state of mind, man. It's it's being stuck on Android so long, uh, and I'm still all about Android. Does that make me a fanboy because I'm digging my experience on the iPhone 8 Plus? No, it doesn't make me a fanboy. I'm Android at heart, but I want to enjoy both platforms. I want to expand my knowledge. I want to be able to have conversation with all of you, the team, the viewers, my fellow YouTubers out there that are reviewers. I want to be able to have legitimate conversations and be able to put my input, my opinion. I don't want to just assume. I want to know what I'm talking about. And that's part of going through this experience, this journey, to actually have it in hand and use it. And hey, man, I'm having a great time. But there's going to be pros and cons just like there is on Android devices. But yeah, going forward, I'll probably have an iPhone sitting around from here on out. But that doesn't make me a fanboy. Call me what you will. I am who I am. I'm totally stoked that I've always been about Android. But at this moment, as a YouTuber and as, as for who I am, I'm stoked that I finally have made the move. And I'm here and I'm having a really good time with it. So I've showed you some areas that I really like. Uh, I do like this uh, um, TV here that allows you to go in. You can go to the store and check out some options here. You can go over and watch some shows. And I got some of my own movies that I, well, I was able to uh, um, get iTunes on my computer and get some music um, in there, get some movies in there, and act, I could actually transfer without buying anything. I can watch my own movies. I have a collection. I got thousands of movies. I got thousands of MP3s. I, I mean, I, I got a lot of tunes. So I can, and, and I didn't know it was that easy. This is one of those areas where I was completely ignorant about. And so, yeah, man, I can go in and tap my Godzilla movie. trying to click everything there while shooting the video and look wow the player up here you can uh, minimize that a little bit okay get the black bars at the top and the bottom or you can just expand on it you lose a little bit of picture but look at that it's a beautiful 1080p 5.5 inch 1080p display and it is gorgeous it really is a sharp display I'm, I'm, yeah, there are a few out there that are really, really good. And we've seen a lot of those on some Android devices out there as well um, that aren't Super AMOLED. They're IPS LCD displays. And this is one of those displays that just does it. It kills it. And wow, totally digging it. Um, don't have the bright turned up all the way. But anyway, I do like that. I, I did download another video player called CNX Player. I uh, won't get into that, but that's an option too as well. You got your calendar and your photos, and um, you can actually um, have uh, FaceTime. A lot of you know what that is. I can uh, call somebody out there with that, and I can, well, we can video chat, you know? So that's really cool. Um, I moved some of these around down here. I got all my, uh, I got this folder with my YouTube, YouTube Studio, my Gmail. So basically everything that I would have on an Android device, I have it down there all gathered in one folder. Um, I, I need those but I'm trying to utilize um, more of what this device is giving me to use. And um, if you go into settings, you got everything here that you need. 
and everything that I've downloaded from the store down below. That's that's my list of things. And then you got everything that the device comes with. And I'm not going to get into all of that. Um, but as far as those uh, widgets from um, right here, I did want to show you where you go to actually get those moved around and that's a uh, control center and you can customize those controls okay widgets controls so you can see the ones that I have and you can see the ones that you can add so that's really nice okay so let me get to a couple areas I don't like okay and I don't know if I'm ever gonna get one of them for sure I don't know if I'm gonna get used to so let's go back over here. If I wanted to search for something, it's the keyboard. I love my swipe and I do not have swipe. Now I can download the Google keyboard, but it doesn't work like it does on an Android device. There's some limitations there and it, that experience wasn't good. I tried it and I got rid of it. So I'm typing and I don't like typing. I, I just hate it, man. Literally. And that's, that's a strong word, right? Hate. I, yeah, but I hate typing. I like swiping. So every once in a while I go in and I start doing this and I'm like, Oh my goodness, man. I have to type it out. Type, 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 type. Yeah. So I don't like that. And I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. So, um, that's my, probably my biggest client and it's meniscal, right? But it's me. It's, it's who I am. It's what I don't like. And some of you may be like, why? It's simple. And, but because it's me, I, I don't like it. And, and I, I wish they would implement swipe. The other thing is when you're in camera and I'm like, hey, man, I'm going to shoot some video. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm in 720p, but I want to get into 1080p. Oh, what? Oh, there's no settings here to change that. Are you kidding me? Now I got to go back out, go into settings. That was step number two. Step number one was going out of the camera. Step number two was tapping on the settings. Then you have to go down and find camera. That's number three and number four. And then you'll find what you need here as far as switching it up from 720 to 1080 or 4K. Okay, those are all your video settings right there. Just to show you that really quick but that's just way too many settings when you could just be in the camera and um, whether they place the settings up here over here down here right here or swipe over and go this it doesn't matter I mean, it, sh it should be here it shouldn't take that many steps so swiping on the keyboard I miss half the type who knows I may get used to it but right now I just do not like it whatsoever and way too many steps to get to the settings for the camera. I could miss something really important. And uh, those are probably my two biggest cons right now. I don't have anything else. Anything else outside of that would just be my own frustration in trying to learn everything about the device. Again, it's simplistic, but sometimes simple can be hard. It's, it's all in the mind. Okay, enough said, long video. Case by Orsley. You got the polycarbonate piece back here. Feels really nice in hand. You got the uh, rubber uh, inner lining in there, so it's a two-piecer, um, uh, but it feels really good. Gives the device uh, a little extra bit of girth. The device itself has a little bit of weight to it, but I like that. It feels it feels like something solid and substantial is in my hand. It's in my pocket. Um, I do wish that the, the power button was a little bit lower. Now I'm being really picky, aren't I? But um, yeah, outside of that, it's a beautiful looking device. I love the dual setup back there. Um, do have optical image stabilization and those two 12 megapixel shooters. Um, just a good looking device. So I'll be using it uh, a lot more and be shooting a lot more video, test out the, you know, as far as the wobbliness, shakiness and the jello effect. Hopefully it's minimal, but in doing some homework, some devices are sensitive, especially on mounts. When you're in a car driving, they can, um, I'm going to show you the, uh, Orsley, uh, price here too, as well as I'm talking, uh, in doing some homework. And I noticed this in a couple other devices that I had, 
you will get some of that uh, that wobbliness, some of that jello effect. Um, some some um, devices are more sensitive than others, so I may need to figure out a way to stabilize it a little bit better in my car if I am getting uh, that little bit of jello effect or that extra shakiness. And some devices just can handle anything, man. Like my HTC 11. My LG V20, especially my LG V20, man. It's just a monster device when it comes to shooting my vlogs. Um, I didn't get this device for it to be my vlog device. So my LG V20 and probably the V30 will end up being that. So, you know, but I'll work with it. I'm patient. I'm Again, I'm having lots of fun. Here's the Orsley case, and that will cost you $5.99. So basically, Six Smacks is going to get you this beautiful case right here. It's really, really nice, and it's going to give you some great protection. The screen protector that I have on here, this temper glass, is actually from the dollar store because I'm waiting uh, for some screen protectors. For, I think Lightning Knight sent me some, and I got some other ones on the way, but dollar right there for that screen protector, and it's working really great. So look into the Orsley case. I'll leave the link down below. Again, everybody, my iPhone 8 Plus, that's an update. It's a very long update, um, more of a conversation and vlog than anything. But any questions, leave it down below. Any kind of tips and tricks, leave it down below. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, leave a thumbs up. Um, yeah, I think I covered a lot and a lot more than I wanted to, but that's what happens. Wow. Okay. Till my next video, God bless. Peace. Thanks for being a part of my Project 13 because you are my Project 13. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Share, donate. And if you like the content, leave a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you hate it, leave a thumbs down. But let me know why. And... Whoa, either way, I'm going to be back doing my thing. Double peace.